Oh, I have to have it powered on. Just sec laptop went into hibernation. Here we go. Pull the jamming. Let's go ahead and see if I can push this here. Okay, now we've disabled the jamming. Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at part three of our personal security series. And in part two, we covered RFID and how to protect yourself against uh, getting your uh, credit cards that have uh, kind of the NFC RFID enabled wireless payment system on them. Uh, we've kind of shown you how you can protect yourself. And in the last video, we kind of covered these RFID wallets that you can get that just kind of block a um, being red, um, not 100% foolproof. So I talked about the last video um, that we were going to look at a way to 100% foolproof you from getting scanned and your your credentials stolen. And again, we we kind of talked about. Uh, I can show you here. This is a Discover card. It's got this little emblem here with the wire, kind of the Wi-Fi looking kind of thing on it. Um, if your credit cards have that, you're susceptible to getting all your information stolen just being out in public anyone has to get close to you with one of these which is an RFID reader writer um, so what I've actually done I've got this hooked up to uh, a laptop over here we're gonna have that off screen because I do not want to give out a lot of details on how to do this I just want to mainly show you how to protect yourself uh, so I've actually taken my discover card I've read it from just getting close to this re uh, reader writer and I have put the data on this so this is actually my discover card with a wireless payment on it so all I have to do is get this go to uh, you know make it look legit uh, go to uh, place a taste discover and just boom push to pay this is now my discover card okay I wrote it, read the data with this and wrote it with this so that's how easy it is. Now, remember I did mention the RFID wallets. Again, not 100% foolproof. All you gotta do is amplify these, and it's easy to do. You just get an amplification system, put it all in a nice little bag, and walk around like a little uh, purse or a little man satchel or something, and all you gotta do is get maybe, you know, within a foot, maybe two feet. It just depends on how strong of the amplification is, and it'll read it. Even if it's in an RFID protected wallet, it can still penetrate this and get it. If this is really a strong reader, it's going to get it. So, how do you protect yourself 100%? This is what the video is about. This is a uh, this is by Armor Card, and I want to give a shout out to Armor Card for lending this to the show, uh, so we can actually do a demonstration of it. This is a personal identity protection, and it's active electronic protection. So what that means is this jams the signals. So anything that's going to try to read uh, RFID and NFC is going to jam them. So no more just trying to protect yourself with layers of aluminum or whatever. Uh, this is going to jam the signal. And let's look at the back of this and you can see protection from wireless skimming. And if you want more information, I'll have some links for, from wireless skimming out there. But uh, so basically what this does is you can actually see what I've actually said. This is a credit card and somebody's got an RFID reader and boom, it's going to steal your identity uh, from your credit card. So with this in the middle, just put this in your wallet and it is a jammer. So it's going to protect you from all the, uh, basically the frequency that this runs on, it's going to block it. So it's not going to be able to read it. So no matter how powerful the amplification system is with this, this is going to jam your signal. So. I'm going to do a quick demonstration of how this works and just to show you. Now I can't actually show you protecting it with the wallet, putting it on here. That is going to protect it against this. This is not amplified. So uh, I'm not going to be able to show you the difference to actually foolproof this, you know, to penetrate this. I just don't have the capabilities to do that. But let's go ahead and we'll take a quick look at how this works. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just drop this on here and I'm going to show you how it's going to scan. Maybe. Let's try this again. Oh, I have to have it powered on. Just sec laptop went into hibernation. Here we go. Okay, so I got pretty close to it. It's scanned. Good to go. So now I'm going to put this armor card in here and we're just going to just see if it'll scan. No will not scan. It blocks the signal, even with it on top. 
Nothing. It's doing its job. Protecting, jamming, and let's actually take a look at this. So if you see here, active jamming, disable jamming battery test, and I think you push this. If I can get it to work. Uh, I actually turned this on before I opened this. So I've actually opened this and had it out. So this was in its active jamming uh, phase. So if we disable the jamming, let's go ahead and see if we can push this here. Okay. Now we've disabled the jamming. There. Scanned. So what that actually did was, back on my PC here, this read the data from this Discover card. So it got my personal information, the Discover card information, uh, all the information that's in this to do wireless payment system. Got it. So, very, very cool. Um, I highly recommend getting one of these. Again, this is actually not only going to work for your wallet, uh, anything that's got basically NFC, RFID, like your passports, uh, you know, anything like that, even driver's license these days, if you don't want people to get your personal information off your driver's license, some states have that built into it, this is going to protect you. So, it's not very expensive, it's great to have in your wallet, it's very thin as you can see, it is almost like a credit card itself. As I can hold this up, I'll show you, yep, very much uh, very thin. So, very cool stuff, I highly recommend it, I'll have a link in the show notes where you can pick one of these up. And uh, again, protect yourself. I mean, it's good to have this knowledge, but it's better to have this in your wallet and you're 100% protected. Now, if you want to, like I said in the last video, we showed you different wallets. You can get different RFID wallets, but again, not 100% foolproof. Foolproof yourself. Get a jammer, and people will be like, oh man, can't steal his data. No personal identity theft. Anyway, guys, this has been part three in the personal security series. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and a subscription to the channel. And as always, thank you for watching. Have a good one.